of this channel you see we want here again with you today so guys the first thing that comes to mind when, when they mention a chromebook is it's an educational purpose computer this means it's for education purposes but it doesn't mean you can't use it for any other thing guys so it makes sense now when you can't do any other thing offline with this thing and no special features as you see on laptops so it will only make sense to you when you realize it is, it is for schooling. So first off guys, let's go straight to the main purpose of the video, which is the features and specifications of this thing. So starting with the brand, this is a Lenovo. Is it in here? This is a Lenovo Chromebook and it's running on the operating system called Chrome OS. This is Chrome. So it is running on the operation called Chrome, uh, Chrome OS. So as you can see, there are tons of operating systems these days. So don't be, sus don't be surprised when you hear Chrome OS. Talking about the display, this is an 11.6 inch display. As you can see, it looks small. Unlike your laptops where you can see 16, a system, uh, 16.7 inch display but this, this is 11.6 so it is it's such a small display but nevertheless it can serve as a desktop so and it has an anti glare screen it's um, a 1306 by 768 pixel per inch so this is an anti glare screen what do I mean anti glare screen the anti glare screen will prevent reflections like when you are under a bulb, a fluorescent light, or when you're near a window, so the uh, light can't be reflecting on the screen. So it's a glare, it's an anti glare screen. So when you are even in the sun, you can see your screen very well. That's just it, even with low brightness. Let me show you. See, this is okay. This is the lowest brightness, and you can still see something on the laptop. So, and this is the full. So, guys. That is the work of the anti glare screen. And this is a 13 by 66, uh, a 13 66 by 768 pixel resolution. It should be pretty clear. Talking about the processor on this thing, guys, it's an Intel Celeron N2840 from 2014, which costs at 2.58 GHz. The CPU. The processor is just okay, nothing too special. And it's not that fast, but it's not slow at all. I don't have the game on this thing. I should have shown you guys how it performs. And also, it has a 4 gb RAM and a 16 gb storage. But this is not the 4 gb RAM version. This is the 2 gb RAM version and a 16 gb. This is the 16 gb version. I don't think there's a there's a larger storage. Uh, this is it's just it's capped at it's capped at a 16 gb storage. So, yeah, 16 gb because you just have to manage it. But honestly, guys, this is the only downside to this thing. I'm telling you, I can't and I will never recommend this to anybody who likes using their system as their long-run storage instruments but apart from that this system is excellent and also considering that it lets you use the external storage devices like a flash drive this is this is the usb port for flash drives and this is a usb port for your devices your phone this is the usb 3.0 and this is a usb 2.0 so this one is slow but this one is faster so guys yeah this is this is where you use uh, for the phone, for your phones, the 3.0. So this is for the flash drives and other external devices. So guys, that that's just it. And uh, I recommend this laptop for parents who want to get their children laptops. Uh, uh, parents can get this laptop for this Chromebook for their children because it doesn't have much features and this system is also good for browsing that is the main reason uh, it was made 
for schooling. So you can also insert an SD card in it. And even that has this, this is the SD card port. This is the SD card port. Look at it here. So you can attach um SD card adapter on it. So that's it. Um so that's why I said you can manage this Chromebook guys. Because without this, uh, without enough storage device, you can't enjoy your system. But with those external storages, you can manage it, guys. And guess what? The sweetest thing. So, guys, maybe the battery could compensate for the low input storage. So, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And in case you'd like to know, it has a Wi Fi connection. As you can see down below. Guys, this thing is lagging. So I have to reboot it. You know when you open it, it's unlocks on its own. That's just it. So it's has a Wi-Fi connection, which means you can connect it with your mobile phone to browse on it and, it's, and you can still enjoy that desktop version of browsing with it and also it has a rotatable video camera with a microphone attached to it so this is the this is the rotatable video camera this is a 720 pixel HD camera so this is the microphone attached to it so whenever you rotate it while videoing it will, the microphone will go with it so you can capture great media quality with this thing so that's why the microphone is attached there so guys and you and also it has a rotatable video camera with a microphone beside it and it also has a bluetooth connection and a usb port so this is the bluetooth connection So guys, let me show you the Bluetooth connection. I don't know what's happening to this Chromebook. So let me just use it again. It's having issues. So and it also has a HDMI port. This is the HDMI port. Where you can transfer files from your camera to this thing. And you can also connect it with your TV to get high quality viewing experience. So that is just it. So it has uh, speakers. Look at the speakers on the side here yeah. and the other side. So you can see, and uh, this, if I forget, this anti uh, glare screen it helps in reducing eye strain. Other, uh, unlike some laptops or other Chromebooks that don't have this anti glare screen, when you use it for a long time, you start having eye problem. There, that was the the medical people said so I don't know and okay it also has a retractable handle this is it yeah, this is it so this is a pure evidence that it's for schooling this is the hand so I don't see much I don't see much to do with this handle just for you know for children you can handle it from here to avoid falling off and for easy carrying so that is just the handle so about the pricing it was sold at the price of 239 dollars 
which is around 91,000 naira when it was first launched back in 2015. So guys, this is five years now since this thing was launched. And you can easily get it at the price of around 40,000 naira. That is something like $105 presently. So guys, you have to come So guys, we so have come to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you so much for your time and watching this video to the end. I just hope you guys learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm waiting for your questions, comments and comments down below in the comment section. Thanks again and see you on the next one. Peace.